Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can configure Jenkins on Ubuntu 22.04 EC2 instance. So as we all know that Jenkins is going to stop uh, supporting Java 11 starting from August 7, 2024. So we have to start using Java 17 going forward. Uh, so that's the reason why, you know, I'm going to show you all how we can configure Jenkins on Ubuntu 22.04 using Java 17. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. I don't see any uh, major, uh, you know, instruction change as you compare with the, you know, previous installation. So this is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, so let me take you to Google search. So if you just say install Jenkins on Ubuntu 22.04, so obviously, right, you're going to see several uh, links. But if I take you guys to Jenkins website, and if I select Ubuntu, so basically these are instruction for configuring uh, Jenkins on Ubuntu 22.04, okay? Uh, but we are going to use, uh, like I said, you know, Java 17, as you can see here, right? It is no longer included. So it is actually a good idea to start using, uh, you know, Java 17 or OpenJDK 17, all right? So that's exactly what we are going to do in this short video. And if you see the prerequisite, yes, I do have EC2 instance configured, uh, you know, in AWS cloud, and I'm also connected uh, using my uh, iTerm. I'm connected to that EC2 instance. So currently this does not have anything installed. You can see here, I don't have anything installed at this moment, uh, Java or Maven, so nothing is there. So I'm going to show you all right now, you know, how quickly we can uh, configure Jenkins on this EC2 instance. So let's get started. So as we all know that Jenkins is a Java based tool, so we need to start installing uh, Java. But before that, let me start performing some update here. Maybe I can start with setting up the host name. Uh, let me exit and then I'm gonna log back again, uh, just to make sure that our changes are being affected. So clear the screen and then I'm going to perform uh, update first. Since this is a brand new EC2 instance, I wanted to make sure that all the software packages are you know up to date. Uh, that should not take a uh, lot of time. And then I'm going to go ahead and then install, uh, you know, OpenJDK 17 or Java 17. So copy this instruction. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's go ahead and then do that. And then if you wanted to verify the Java version, you can copy this command and then go ahead and then execute that. There you go. So now we have Java 17 right now. Perfect. So we are good with that. Let me clear the screen and then I'm going to go ahead and then install Maven as well. So as you all know that Maven is a Java based build tool. Uh, so Jenkins would use Maven uh, when it comes to building any kind of a Java based application. Of course, you can also use, uh, you know, Gradle or Apache Ant, but I would prefer to use Maven. And let's quickly check the uh, version for Maven as well. Perfect. So we got this one 3.6.3 and then you can also see that this is using uh, Java 17. Perfect. So, so far so good. And then we need to uh, start installing Jenkins. So like I said, there are so many ways you can find out the steps. You can use ChatGPT or you can directly go to Google search or you, of course you can also directly come to this website. Uh, so these are the instructions. Uh, but just to kind of explain you all this command one by one. So we are downloading the keys from the Jenkins website and then our, our, we are appending Debian package repo address to the system and then finally we are performing update and then you can start installing Jenkins by executing this command. Okay, so it's up to you. You can you can go to uh, this website and then copy all these commands or if you want to execute one by one that is totally fine. Uh, but let's let's start following the instruction, you know, in my website. Uh, so let me go ahead and then copy this uh, command which is going to download the keys and then we are going to uh, you know append the repo address to the system, a Debian package repo address. Let me go ahead and then copy and paste that, perfect. So make sure you copy uh, the whole instructions like that. Don't, don't try to copy line by line, okay? And then let's start performing an update. And then the next command would be start, uh, you know, installing Jenkins. So I don't want to say minus Y, so I don't want to manually type yes. Perfect. And then I'm going to uh, pick up the public DNS name of my EC2 instance. So that's the public DNS name. Make sure you all open, you know, port 8080 in the security firewall rule. So I'm going to verify that real quick. I did open that. Oh, there you go. You see here. So that's the default port number for Jenkins. So that is actually good. So I have the public IP address. 
let me go back to my instruction okay so this is still setting it up so as soon as this is up we are going to go ahead and then copy the public dns name all right so jenkins got installed let's go ahead and then access in the browser there you go uh, so initially the password would be stored in this particular location so i'm going to get that sudo cat so that's the default uh, one time jenkins admin password so get that let's paste it there and then click on continue uh, i don't want to save that password let me enable that okay uh, now let's go ahead and install suggested plugins because you know jenkins would need those plugins in order to integrate with uh, you know any other uh, any other tools such as uh, sonar cube or github or bitbucket or nexus or artifactory or slack any tools you wanted to integrate we have to install those necessary plugins Awesome. So the plugins got installed. Let's go ahead and then set up uh, some uh, admin username. So I'm going to go ahead and then set up everything as admin admin. Again, I, I leave it to you guys. Uh, you know, you can set up any, 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 uh, you know, you can provide your email address, but I'm not so, so much worried about it. So I'm going to provide some random email address, but I'm not going to use it. So go ahead and then click on save and continue. Save and finish and then start using Jenkins. So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you would uh, configure uh, Jenkins on Ubuntu 22.04 EC2 instance uh, using Java 17. Thank you for watching this video.